Alright, hello. I uh, just wanted to make a little video explain what I've been up to. So I've been uh, using uh, Deforum recently. Actually, I was using Animative and then I went back to Deforum for a little bit. So I've been uh, kind of making these videos, uh, uploading them to YouTube Shorts. I've kind of been doing these as morph videos and then just some, uh, some, I made like a, you know, just a me out in the wild video too. But uh, I just wanted to, uh, I'm, I've been trying to make, um, audio sync type videos where it syncs audio with the video so like these ones are not like it's just like basic it's an animation with music there's nothing too special about that but um so with uh, some of these tools there's like a audio scheduler and you can kind of sync the uh music so i go to i make ai music and then i uh sync it to the video so with these tools with parsec and uh parsec and uh frame sync you can actually use these weights or these um i guess it's, i don't know weights or uh keyframes stuff like that you can use these to influence the video so um this recent one that i did is i just did this one today because i've been kind of learning how to use parsec which uh yesterday i found out that um down here you can actually use these uh inputs so if you do like the full prompt or you can do like translation so if you modify these this uh, field graph you can add different uh weights like these uh i haven't quite figured out how like you can set them here and then you can modify them here and then uh and do some like i think you can like modify the yeah you can like just add i haven't figured out how to like modify the whole page yet maybe with these like with these oh these are keyframes so you uh you set these keyframes and then it must um connect them all with like lines or whatever so i'll have to figure out that later also i wanted to mention that um for the custom weights you can actually add like a uh, custom so you add this prompt weight and then you can add like i think you can add like prompt weight in here or something so you can add so you can have the graph thing modify the weight here i think yeah you can modify so right now the weight is nothing but you can modify that to I'm still figuring this out, so, you know, but I just want to make a little video so that other people can start using this, because uh, there's not very many videos about how to use Parsec and weight modifying for deformed videos and all that, because it seems like a really complicated subject, and uh, I'm just hoping to, you know, get more people looking at it, but, uh, so one thing that I've learned is each of these, these raw schedules right here, it's like the bottom of on parsec so you i mean when you set all those weights and stuff that's how that works but you can go to uh the easiest way is just to take the full prompt take you can just copy this whole page so you set your prompts up here and then typically you want to add negative prompts and then uh it'll slowly it'll uh fade so it'll go from this to uh, this and then you'll want to have these be the negative prompts but like typically you want it to be related to your previous prompt so then you get more movement. I haven't really, uh, that's kind of what I'm hoping to do next, uh, is figure out how to do more prompt stuff. So all right, this one didn't work out very well because it's all like dragon related. So the video got really weird whereas because it was like dragon and then dragon is also in the negative. So it kind of like gets confused. But also another way you can do it is you can take a music video. So you can just take a music and upload the file here. And then you get all of these weights. So, and then I believe you can just use these weights anywhere. So, uh, in your comfy prompt. Um, so in here, you can actually use these. So, uh, what I did, cause I was just, I was just testing here. So I took all these, so I took like the first like 30 or whatever. I took like the first, like, you know, these, and then I just threw them on to, uh, so these are weight or, uh, schedules. So this is the frame and this is the weight, I guess is what it's doing. So it um or or like uh, if i wanted to modify i just did these random because i was just testing but you can i think you can just add them to any of these so like i've seen a lot of people they add it to the uh the simple string or like the sorry this is a simple string these are the inputs but it's modifying the noise schedule so i could add like this whole 
frame sync I could add this whole frame sync into there and then these are different weights so it'll change the weights which I think when you're actually doing a video it's kind of hard to tell when the uh, when these weights are changed I mean I'll have to mess with it more or if if you use this you can look at these but so uh, by default I think it just sets it to 0.6 but in here it's like you can set it to like I think I said had it set to like 0.3 or something but I haven't really figured out how that all works yet so but I just wanted to make a you know a video so that there's something on the internet telling you that frame sync is a thing and you can use these to modify your deform prompts, which I just found this out. You know, they take string inputs, so you can change your uh, uh, these to inputs. So you just like set one to an input, and then you can just get it, make another one of these strings. Uh, so you just take and make another one, and then you just attach it, and then that's a new that'll modify your video. So uh, I, I mean, if you figure out a good way to modify these, and then these, this is all through Parsec. So each of these weights up here, or down, right here, these weights, when these get modified, which I think get modified in here, this is where they get modified. Um, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you modify these here, and then when you go down to here, to the bottom, to the bottom. Uh, in the raw schedules, you can open up the weight here, and then you can just copy these weights. So this is one that was like I, I kind of took this one from a pre one, so I haven't actually modified it, all this stuff yet. But I took somebody else's and they have theirs modified, and then I can kind of use their same values in my video or whatever. But uh, hopefully you can figure out how to do this more. So yeah, so uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and the video that I made here, I'll show you that. This is it's kind of weird. I'll I'll upload it to my uh, YouTube. But it's the video, so it starts off kind of weird. Uh, but I think it's changing because I have like uh, like old like old dragon or whatever, and then wise old dragon, and then like a rugged dragon, but. Uh, because I have like those things in here, like because it's in the negative, it turns into like a like a rainbow dragon. That's kind of bright colors and stuff. And then I think because the uh, I had the uh, X transition or Y transition, the dragon started moving off the frame. And then to like keep it like uh, with the image model, it starts to do this like weird morph thing. Which I mean, for like a video, I guess it's doesn't really work but I mean it's interesting for a YouTube short so yeah so uh with this one I I took the uh the, this these are the weights from that video and then I just kind of threw them on camera position so they're just can't they just changed the camera position and then I just kind of threw the rest of them into zoom so I guess it starts to zoom in that's like one way but you can actually use them to uh modify the uh the you know noise or whatever or if you want to just have camera shifting but uh one way i think i might try to use it is to uh modify the weight of the actual props because that might add some cool effects maybe i don't know if it'll be noticeable but maybe camera like you know like screen rotation zoom in type like so you can get like a base type thing you know that kind of stuff uh that will uh that might be a way to use the frame sync and have it like make sense so yeah, I hope this uh, video um, clears some stuff up. It's kind of like what I've learned over the last two days about this. So I hope I uh, hope this video is helpful to somebody. Um, yeah. All right, that's uh, that's it. Like and uh, subscribe because I need subscribers and likes. So thank you.